Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of What's New at Yankee Dabbler. I'm your host, DJ, and today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new items here on Star Wars Day. Everyone, I hope May the 4th be with you. We're going to be taking a look at some brand new items to hopefully be on your layout really soon, so you can have the ultimate power in the general railroad area. All right, the first things that we're going to start off with is we're going to be talking about some containers. And if you take a look down here, you're going to see that my Rebel Alliance soldiers are uh, taking a look here at my 53-foot containers. All right, let's take a look at these. I have here the CSX intermodal container cars here from Atlas. And these are really nice-looking container cars. As you can see, I have the detailing there with the doors all the different writing happening on there even has a looks like a little uh item numbers i mean there are this a lot of great detailing that you can put on here and as you can see can't really see that far but these are great looking cars here to add to your collection i have the csx i have the a sun i have the pacer stack train I have the hub uh, hub I almost said hub group the hub group and then I have the EMP all right and remember if you put these containers in your well cars they will become more powerful than you possibly can imagine maybe anyway we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $34.99 they originally sell for $49.99 so you're getting a good deal on a quality product here so come on down to Yankee Dabbler and check them out all right, so I got these brand new uh, speakers here from Soundtracks, and these are fantastic looking uh, speakers to put into your locomotive if you're doing your own install. I want to note that these are a half watt uh, speaker, so if you're looking to put these into uh, your decoder that is one watt, make sure you put them in series, otherwise you're going to have some issues. But these are uh, brand new in stock here at Yankee Dabbler, so if you're looking to put these into your locomotives, come check them out. We're selling them here for $15.16, and I'm telling you, if you put these in, the sound will be with your train, always. All right, so now we're going to take a look into N-Scale land, and we are going to be taking a look at some well cars from Atlas. And if you take a look over here, you're going to see that my heroes already have uh, some of these cars uh, under their protection. And as you can see, I got these uh, really nice looking detailed 53 foot well cars, as well as some 40 foot well cars. And if you take a look at there, these cars are actually made of die cast metal. They have uh, metal etching for the details up there. Some of them have the truck hitches, some of them don't, depending on what kind they are. Uh, and these are just fantastic cars, especially if you like qual uh, cars that have good quality cars that have a lot of beef to them these are definitely the cars that you want to put on your layout i mean truthfully the odds of finding cars like this that are better are approximately 3720 to one anyway let's take a look at one of these guys right here excuse me three po as i move you you're gonna see here this is actually a special car here. This is the TTX uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Car. If you actually zoom in here, you're going to see On Track for a Cure, which is this a great little uh, subtle detail. You don't really see too many pink cars on your train, and uh, so it's a really neat um, this addition to add to your car, uh, to your uh, layout rather. As you can see here, this is all metal. I mean, these have some weight to it. So for an N scale car, these are pretty hefty. And of course it has the uh, load in there so you can add some Atlas containers to put inside there. So these are just great. I, I really like these things. So the 53 foot well cars usually sell for $34.95. We're selling them here for $24.99. And then the 40 foot well cars usually sell for $32.95. We're selling them for $32.90. I'm sorry, $22.99. So those are a great deal to add to your end scale collection. So as Admiral Akbar once said, sort of, it's a deal. Come in and check them out. Uh oh, looks like the Empire just showed up. That's bad news. Oh boy. Okay. Well, hopefully we can somehow navigate around those stormtroopers there and talk about these NE5 cabooses once again from Atlas. And 
Cabooses are one of my favorite cars. They don't get enough love simply because you don't see them that much anymore. But I love these cars here. I got the New Haven. I got the Chicago and Northwestern. I got the Wisconsin Central. I got the uh, Great Western. And then one of my personal favorite paint schemes, I got the Boston and Maine. And that is a really cool looking design there. Now, these cabooses, once again, are from Atlas. These are really well-made cars, and if you're looking for something to add to the end of that train, I would pick up one of these. Usually, they sell for $32.99. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $22.99. So come on in and get that at the end of your train. So if you're fearful you don't have enough uh, rolling stock on your layout, remember, fear is the path to the dark side. Come on in and get these N-Scale articulated cars, and these are great looking pieces as you can see here. I've got a couple of different variations. I have two uh, actual different Norfolk Southern. As you can see, the one up top has the horse head logo on it, where the one on the bottom doesn't, so I need a little subtle variation there, of course, with different numbers. And I also have here a Santa Fe one, so that is a great looking car here. So if you're trying to get these on your layout, remember, do or do not, there is no try. So come on in and get these at Yankee Dabbler. We're selling these for $44.99. Might seem like a lot for an N-Scale car, but remember, these have a lot of meat to them. So if they want, you want something that's built uh, rugged, come on in and get these. Speaking of auto carriers, there's always a bigger train. Here from Atlas, these auto carriers, and I have the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. I have here the Canadian Pacific, and I love this uh, logo here with the beaver and the shield. That is a great design there. I always like seeing that one. I have the Kansas City Southern, and that is a great looking car as well. And I actually hear that there's a merger being uh, in the works right now between Canadian Pacific and Kansas City Southern. So maybe one day future, one of them will be the other's father. Maybe. All right, and of course, I right here I got the TTGX. I actually have this in two different colors. I have the yellow as well as the white. And as Darth Vader would say, you don't know the power of the auto carriers. You need to get these on your layout today. Now, these cars are selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $64.99. It might seem like a lot, but when you take a look at all the detail that goes into these cars, you can see that that money is well worth it here. I actually have metal couplers on the end of these cars, so that's always a plus. Uh, these are this really great looking car. So if you're looking for an auto carrier train to uh, put onto your layout, I would come in and check these out before they come rolling away to a galaxy far. All right, so if you're having some turmoil on your layout, Save us scale trains, your only hope. Check out these scale train diesel locomotives here. I have here, these are the ES44s and I have a couple of different variations. For example, the Kansas City Southern is the AC version. I have the Burlington North Santa Fe. This is the C4 version. This is in the H3 scheme as delivered. I have another as delivered scheme here. This is actually an AH. Uh, uh, that is the CSX, and then of course I have here the Canadian National, which is an AC diesel locomotive. Each one of these engines has a subtle little difference. As you know, take a look at the uh, Canadian National for a second. If you take a look at that one, you're going to see that not only do I have ditch lights on the front of the locomotive, but if I go to the back, I'm also going to see that I have ditch lights there as well. And part of the reason for that is, is because all uh, locomotives in Canada need to have dish lights on the front and the rear of the trains. So scale trains made that subtle variation, whereas you can see the other diesel locomotives do not have that. So it's kind of a neat little thing to see there. All right. So, I mean, this is quite a sight to see my diesel locomotives amongst my uh, galactic civil war here. But if you want to uh, check out these diesel locomotives and get one for your own layout, Come on in the Yankee Dabbler. We're selling them here for $279.99. It's a great deal. And as we like to do here on the show, we're going to test one of these puppies up and see what they sound like. Let's go. This hobby has made you powerful. Take your diesel engine. Strike all the other cars down with all, I don't know. Here you go. This is the diesel locomotive that we have here. Let's start her up. And check out the unlimited power! Alright. Let's turn those ditch lights on. 
Let's hear the horn, shall we? All right, let's start her up. What a great looking engine. As a matter of fact, they made it around our layout in less than 12 parsecs. All right, so if you're interested in that engine and anything else that we saw in today's episode or didn't check out, please check out our website at yankeedabbler.com and see all the items that we have here um, that could possibly be on your train layout. It is the way. Well, I want to thank you all for tuning in. And as you remember what Chewbacca once said, <laughs> And I think that this applies uh, perfectly to everything that we just talked about today. So thank you very much for tuning in. Subscribe to Engineer Hall. And we'll see you again next time for another episode of What's New at Yankee Dabbler. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.